Yo, what up? Dante Lewis here, and I'm going to show you guys some sample techniques inside of Logic. Now, today we're going to go over flex time. Now, flex time allows you to quantize and move and stretch audio. I know it sounds amazing, but it's the absolute truth, and this is one of the main reasons why Logic is amazing. Now, <clears throat> say for instance, if you had a drum sequence which you quantize inside of Logic and you incorporate a sample into it and you loop up the sample and some of the drums are off or they're not hitting where you want them to hit, you can use this to your advantage. Excuse me, my phone is ringing. One second. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So let's get right into it. Now, you want to have flex time selected. I have flex time highlighted already. So what you want to do is go up here to the top corner, hit flex. It's going to say off. What you want to do is hit off and bring it down to polyphonic. Now, <clears throat> polyphonic is going to show you the transients. Now, I already have this quantized. Let me take the quantize off. And this is what you'll see in your sample. And I have some of the flex markers moved already. Let me take those out. Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, you'll see the transients. Now, the transients, for those who don't know, are where the kicks, the snares, hit at. Now, as you can see, if you look closely towards the top where the beat markers are, you'll see the transients are a little off. Like, you'll see this one is supposed to hit here. Well, not supposed to, but you would want it to hit here if you were quantizing or whatever. So I'm going to back out of this and I'm going to show you how you can get the audio quantized. So the first thing you want to do is have it selected. And you know you have it selected by the black mark at the top. And you want to hit quantize. Now, I know uh, some of you guys like to quantize and have it perfect you can do that just hit 1 16th note and when I hit 1 16th note take a close look at how the transients move now they're on the one perfect sample now keep in mind that this is not like <clears throat> the time stretching where you can take it to another tempo and the quality and the pitch doesn't change this will affect the audio, so you can't go overboard with it. Like, you can actually take these transients and move it, and I'll do that at the end of the video so you can see what I'm saying, but it does affect the audio. So, we'll see how it sounds with it being quantized. All right, that's what it perfectly quantized. Now, if you have them, and I'll also upload the logic template so you can have these two, is the NPC time swings. We're going to go ahead and take it down to NPC 16th note, 57%. And you see it moved it a little bit. I'll take it back so you can see it move. It moves it a, a little bit. It's a, a little difference between the perfect 16 and the MPC 1657%. Now your audio is going to have that distinct MPC swing. And here it is in action. It works, flex time works wonders and is really, really dope by when you use breaks. Um, this video is just on the fly. Uh, I just wanted to do something. I got a new Mac. I just wanted to do something. So I know the video is all over the place. I didn't pre, it's not premeditated or anything like that. That's why it's so choppy. But this is a really, really dope feature. If you use, a, I'll do another video using, do, composing a whole um, work using flex time and I'll use a break and you can see how it can be beneficial because you can take right here is where the fills hit at. You can take 
this transient and move it wherever you want. And like I was telling you earlier, it affects the audio though. Move it, take that, move it, let me back this up some so you can hear it. These transient markers aren't moving. Okay, that one moved. Now that I can move that one, I can move that back now. All right, here we go. So it does affect the audio, so you want to use it cautiously. You want to use it cautiously. Um, you just don't want to go overboard with this. Um, now, another thing you want to do, or that you can do, is say, for instance, if you have it flex time and you wanted to bring it into ESX and trigger it through ESX. Well, whatever you apply to flex time, you can take it and it, and it will still apply in the ESX I'll show you. So let me move some of these notes around. Back one. Okay, hold on one second. And like I said, I apologize for it being choppy, but you'll get the point. Now we're gonna audition this. All right, so that's that. Bring this back. One second. All right. Now we can take that by hitting Control E, bringing it into ESX. and audition it in ESX. The changes you make in flex time correspond through the ESX because it is audio again. So I hope you guys learned something. Next time I'll think of a video, have it well thought out, and I'll be able to execute it and get my point across better. I did a video about a year ago showing you guys how to cut samples and time stretch. I will also watch that video because I skipped a lot of the steps that I did before. I was applying flex time because I already did a video. So I'll put that in the comments link and I'll also put the logic template I'm using right now inside the comments link. I'll upload it to Mediafire or something and that way you can have it and you'll be able to enjoy the NPC, uh, the NPC Groove templates too. You guys be easy. Peace.